Hey y'all, I'm Rick Sky here, and I'm going to show you how to install the quick disconnect prop guards on the Phantom 4. Now you can check the link within this video's description to find where to order these online. And this is the first time I've attached them, so pardon me if I make mistakes. But I've read the, uh, read the instruction manual, and I know what I'm looking for. Kind of. So I'm probably going to pull that instruction manual back out of the box and see. It says, the first step right here says remove all four plastic stoppers from the prop guard mounting holes. So if you look at the edge of your motors, it's, it's these little clear plastic things at the tip. And obviously you never want to force anything to break it. Okay, so they pop up. <laughs> Probably saw that in the video. And this is in 4K Ultra HD, so if you have a compatible monitor, be sure to crank it up. These would be very easy to lose. So I would highly encourage you to not attempt this in a grassy area like I am, because it would be extremely easy to lose these. If you ever did not want to use your quick disconnect prop guards, you may want to put these back in for cosmetic purposes. Okay, that one came out too. So that's two of the four. May would be easier if you, if your fingers are kind of soft. You may want something kind of semi-hard in your on your finger to, to better assist with this. But I got all four of them that quickly. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, out of best practice here, is I'm going to take all four of these little pieces, and I'm going to put them in a bag. Actually, I'm just going to put them in this little bag that the prop guards came in, and then I'm going to tape this up when I get access to some tape and make sure that it's something I keep should I ever discontinue use of these quick disconnect prop guards. But for now, I'm just going to put it in my glorified steak cooler. That's what I like to call it. The, the, you know, the Phantom 4 came in. It looks like something you'd get mail order steaks in. And now we're going to attach all four of these quick disconnect prop guards to the Phantom 4. And what you'll find here is that all four of these look to be the same. And that's good because it just makes it quicker in the field. So there's this little clamp right here. I gently push my fingers together because you don't want to break this. This looks like it could be something that possibly could be easy to break. So, you know, just a heads up there. Take your time. Don't apply too much force. So there's that one. I'd already done the other one in the unboxing video, but I'm going to do all four of these. And then we're going to put them on. And obviously, we're going to do a flight test. It's not, it's not good enough just to take this stuff out of the box. you gotta, you got to see how it works. So now I've got all four of these ready to go. And I'm going to demonstrate how to attach it. So you see this hole right here where those little plastic things popped out? I slide that through the hole. And then I gently press down. You can see that it's, that it's flush against the body. Once it is... Then what I can do is snap this down to hold the quick disconnect prop guard zone. Actually, a very brilliant design on DJI's behalf, in my opinion, because this is, you know, this has that factory fit, that factory look. Because with my Phantom 2, my Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and my Phantom 3 Pro, I was using aftermarket prop guards. They work great. But installation was was somewhat daunting for some people. You had to you had to remove a, a few screws, and then you had to uh, attach these mounts, and then you had to uh, attach the quick disconnect prop guards. Sure, they were easy on, easy off, but this is just a lot more factory feel to it. I mean, obviously, it's uh, the old the older Phantom models, at least to my knowledge they were not designed with this quick disconnect prop guard capability in mind. And that's super important because if these didn't pop on and off easily when you're traveling with your drone, it, it would just require someone to have a much larger case or every time that they travel, they would have to bust out a screwdriver and, and remove and then reattach the, uh, the prop guards. But this quick, the quick disconnect nature of these makes it great. So look at how good that looks. I mean, that is, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's great. And something I noticed is missing, 
And you may have noticed this too. With the older prop guards for the previous Phantom models, they often had that piece of string that people would run, run among the four prop guards. And that didn't come with this. And actually, I like that. I never used it with the previous Phantom models because it was just another component that I had to, uh, had to attach and detach. And it provided minimal amount of added value. Sure, it created a, another barrier here so that if there was a small object, it would likely better prevent that from, from passing in here and hitting the props. But again, it's a matter of how you fly. And the way that I fly, I'm getting, I got these on here solely for the purpose of when I'm landing on my boat or whatever, if it should topple over, it'll likely better prevent damage to my props. So I like the way they look. Check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order these online for the DJI Phantom 4. They look really good. And check the link because I'm also going to post a video there where I fly these. Does it negatively impact the flight dynamics of the Phantom 4? At the time of posting this video, I don't know. All that I've done so far is taken them out of the box and I've shown you how to attach the quick, di quick disconnect prop guards to the Phantom 4. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash irixgat. Y'all have a good day. Fly safely. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel, and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.